Good Sunday morning, everybody. Uh, peace of Christ. I had a surprise this morning. We've been posting Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, all July. And uh, we're going to post today on Sunday. Um, had a surprise. Here we go. Well, good morning, everybody. Um, this is a lesson I didn't want to get into this year. But now we're here. So I get up this morning. Do my walk through eyeballing what's up. And I notice, uh-oh, defoliation, I've got hornworm, that's what I'm thinking. Also getting attacked by wasps and bees, thank you. Um, <laughs> can you see him? It's on the camera. Let's see, there he is. get closer on it that thing was when I found it my face was two inches away from it scared the bejeebies out of me they did have a nasty hiss there he is they blend in real nice and that's what they do see he's chomping so cut that branch off and burn it. If you look right there, you see this black, looks almost like uh, scat. It's actually the larvae. And cutting that off. Chop, 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 chop. Burn, burn, burn. Not too bad, really. I mean, I've seen, I was getting ready to say I've seen worse, and then Beth says she found another one. You're gonna die because it's right. Yep, I see him. Okay. I was just out here. I couldn't find him. So let me just take. Well, we'll take off what we can see. Well, this is another reason you need to come out. Check your maters regularly. I'll tell you this, if you had this kind of stand and went on vacation and had an outbreak, you could come back and this entire plant be gone. <laughs> if it's bad enough, I'm not kidding you. Now this, the, that leaf, that's where the eggs were and it slid off, so I had to go back and check, make sure they weren't laying somewhere else on the uh, tomato or even the pepper. There's two of them. You can see, I think you can see it on this one. There's a little horn in the tail. That's actually the tail end. And then there's the mouth of them. Uh, gotta be careful. There's certain ways you can get that thing to start hissing, I'll say it that way. <laughs> and it's pretty gnarly, man, it's like a little dragon. Uh, but I'm just gonna extricate this and get it away. Uh, you just got to use your conscience, I guess. The good thing is, if you have these, this means you are pretty ecologically balanced. Um, and if you're using pesticides and stuff, you'll never see this. So, that's how we're dealing with it. That's another thing. It's good to have two people or more looking. Uh, I found one and Beth found the other and we were looking in the same spot. So they camouflage very, very well, as you can see. They just mix right in. Thanks so much for watching and drop your comments down there. Uh, we'll get back on that Cherokee. Once it ripens, we'll slice that thing up for you. I know some people wanted to see it. They hadn't seen a Cherokee purple before. Um, yeah, hornworms, man, you know, gotta keep an eye on those things. Drop some comments down below if you've ever been infested with it. It's fun stuff. It just is. <laughs> Peace.